I've been using the VS1002 Spotlight camera system for over a year now, and I really like it. When I needed to expand area coverage about six months ago, I decided to once again go with the Casacam brand, and I chose the lower cost VS802 night vision camera system. I would like to use this opportunity to share my experience with you and to help other new users become familiar with both systems quicker. I'll answer eight possible questions that new users might ask. First, why is the touchscreen not responding well when it's pressed? I initially had this issue, but then I realized there was the protective film on the touchscreen from when it was shipped. The film protects the finish during shipment, but it also makes the touchscreen less sensitive. I also found out that a pencil can help a lot when touching the panel. I put a pencil on the side of the monitor and that seems to work well. Second, how to play back the recorded video. On the monitor, tap the SD card icon in the upper left corner and go to the file list. On your phone, find the event list. Third, why is there no motion trigger recording? Check the running man icon in the bottom left corner of the monitor. Red means that the motion trigger feature is on. Blue means that it's off. Just tap this icon to change its color to turn motion trigger feature on or off. Fourth, how to use the remote view from your phone's app. You'll need to have an ethernet cable to connect the monitor to your router. Once it's connected, green means that the system is now ready for remote access. Yellow means there's no internet connection. If that occurs, you may need to restart the monitor and the router. Red means there's no wire connection. Check to ensure the plugs are fully inserted into the monitor and the router. Fifth, how to reset the password for your app. If you forget the passwords for the app on your phone, you can reset it to the default password, which is 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. That's six zeros. Go to the monitor, tap menu, then general settings, then network setup, then reset password, and yes. Sixth, there's no playback file on the app. Check the time zone and daylight settings time setting on the monitor. The time needs to be the same on both the monitor and the phone. Seventh, what are the differences between the spotlight camera system, the VS1002, and the night camera infrared camera system, VS802? The spotlight camera is more like a traditional infrared camera, plus it includes a bright security light. The spotlight camera housing is made of metal to help dissipate the heat from the ultra-bright LED. The infrared camera is made of plastic. The spotlight camera has a separate motion sensor and a larger speaker. This allows for a longer motion detection range and louder two-way audio on the camera side. Both share the same monitor. Both are IP56 rated and good for outdoor use. Let's look at a few video files to see the difference. This video shows the spotlight camera working with night vision. It turns on when spotlight when a cat is detected. This is another video to show a deer detected by the camera. The first part of the video is in black and white with night vision only. Once the motion triggers the spotlight, you can see the video change to full color. Now I will go to the spotlight camera and use motion to turn it on to show how bright it is. Of course, you can dim the light if you think it's too bright. Eighth, is there any way to boost the wireless signal? Tighten the antenna on the camera to ensure good contact. Raise the two antennas on the top of the touchscreen monitor. If the wireless signal is still in and out, you might consider purchasing a CasaCam extension cable for the antenna. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for letting me share my experience with the CasaCam products, and thank you for watching.